G7 leader warns Putin over use of nuclear weapons. Zelensky call for international missions along Belarus border as it happened. Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky asks G7 leaders to supply more air defense system and for an international monitoring mission on the Belarusian border. The UN and some NATO countries warn that Moscow may be committing a war crime with its continuing deadly blitz on civilian target. The French President Emmanuel Macron described the attack in which cruise missiles and armed drones trained down on parks, playground, power station, and other civilian target as a profound change in the nature of war. Roughly 30% of the Ukraine energy infrastructure has been hit by Russians since Monday, officials said. The Kremlin has confirmed that President Vladimir Putin will meet his Turkish counterparts Recep Tayyip Erdogan on Thursday to discuss Ukraine. Vladimir Putin has told the head of the International Atomic Energy Agency that he is opening to dialogue on the Zaporizhia nuclear power plants. Elon Musk denied a report that he spoke with Putin before tweeting a proposal to end the war in Ukraine that would have seen territory permanently handed over to Russia. Belarus Defense Minister has said the joint deployment of forces with Russia on its border is a defensive measure. The move were to ensure security along the border between Belarus and Ukraine, they claim. A deputy head of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plants has been kidnapped by Russian forced Ukraine state nuclear energy company Energron said. In a speech to UNESCO, the Ukrainian president urged the UN Cultural Agency to expel Russia, which currently hold the rotating presidencies of the UNESCO World Heritage Committee. Zelensky said Ukraine was nominating the Black Sea city of Odessa to be inscribed on the agency's World Heritage List, AP reported. He also said that 540 objects of cultural heritage, cultural institution, and religious building have been destroyed or damaged since the start of Russia's invasion in February, he added. As millions in Ukraine are facing blackout due to the Russian missile attack on energy infrastructure, the government has urged civilians to cut their electricity, use and not use domestic appliances such as oven and washing machine. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.